Hi Pisces, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they tell people about you. I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. At the end of your reading, I'm going to pull an oracle message from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. Now this is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channels, it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid so this could be something that happened in your past currently in your present or coming up in your future however the reading is for the person currently on your mind and what they're currently telling people about you so let's go ahead and get started the person on pisces mind show me what they tell people about pisces Okay. All right. All right. We have the Fool, the Knight of Cups. We also have the Wheel of Fortune in a 50-50 energy and the Emperor at the bottom of the deck here. So they tell people that they want to take this leap of faith. They really like you. They're really falling in love with you. However, they don't feel like right now is the perfect time to do so that there need to be certain boundaries put in place or there might be certain boundaries in place right now um so i do have aries aquarius as well as pisces scorpio cancer um and i do have more aries energy here as well as capricorn energy that comes out so it feels like they want to take their time like we need to draw a line because everything's happening so fast that this is new exciting fun love it however it doesn't feel like it's you know the right right time it doesn't mean that they're gonna stop and not move forward but they're like it's just things could change gotta wait for it to get better before we do that initiate those things so let's go ahead and clarify that full card We have the Five of Cups as well as the Temperance card at the bottom of the deck. You know, with wanting to take that leap of faith, there are some things from the past that do trigger this person. They can also tell that you are going through a situation not seeing this cup that they're offering to you, that you're still looking at a situation that's not there anymore, and they're like, hey, Pisces, I'm over here. And so they are trying to practice patience here and understanding that they have to to wait on you to be ready for this in order for them to get your attention fully and see um, how much that they really are into you. They feel like they don't have your full attention, so taking that leap of faith here um, is not going to really warrant anything uh, rewarding. So with that five of cups and the temperance card, we do have Sagittarius as well as Scorpio energy. Oh no, sorry, four of cups, not four. Yeah, four of cups, not five of cups. So, um, but it still comes out like looking at these cups that are, you know, floating there and not, it, so it feels like the five of cups. Maybe you're not disappointed or sad with a past situation, but just like choices that have been made, you know, in the recent future. And that this cup here, if they took this leap of faith, they're still not going to get rewarded in the way that they would want to, not getting your attention. That you might not be interested in them right now because you're going through something on your own. So that's why they're trying to practice patience and just, you know, see where things take the two of you. So yes, Cancer Energy as well as Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and clarify that Knight of Cups. There's that Five of Cups. And the Two of Cups. So this person is like, I really am in love with Pisces, but I know that they're going through a situation, starting to get your attention or hoping that they're starting to get your attention. Also that something that happened um, in the past, trying to let go of that. And they feel that if they just practice patience, you're going to see that you two are soulmates and meant to be together here. And so I do have now that Scorpio energy and Cancer energy that comes out. So they feel like they can reach you a little bit more like sharing um, feelings with you. They're being able to reach you a little bit more that you both want the same thing or that that's going to happen um, because they want to be able to express 
hey, I really like you. Like, I really, really, really like you. But they know that you've been going through something. They're just kind of waiting for you to get out of this phase of um, not feeling so great from some things from your past. So let's go ahead and clarify that Wheel of Fortune. And we do have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, they when they feel like they're getting close to you, then they feel like things kind of teeter back and forth. Like, oh, today's a good day, tomorrow might not be, or right now's a good moment, but an hour from now, it might be hard and difficult. And it has them really stressed and worried that, you know, am I am I just here for the moment? Am I a rebound in some way? They're trying to really study things and see your true intentions for them with that chariot card there. Also trying to make a decision on if they should go for this. You know, should I do this? Should I go for this or not? And I do have uh, Gemini energy as well as cancer energy that comes out again here. So let's go ahead and get the outcome between the two of you. They definitely want love. They want a relationship. They really want a union with you, but they find it's challenging right now because you have to move forward out of some things that you feel are kind of rough in your life and they want to move forward into something. They want it to happen fast, but they're like, maybe if we get away for a little while, then maybe you'll start to feel better, Pisces. Maybe you'll want to be with me then. Um, but they're trying to get you out of that state of feeling down, not interested in anything love isn't for you right now um and they're they just want you to accept this relationship that they want to offer to you but they definitely want a, a union the lovers the strength card and the six of swords and so they are trying to practice this patience to get through these challenges so you two can move forward, move on, maybe even taking a weekend trip. There's two travel cards that are here. They have a lot of questions to ask you, but they don't wanna overstep certain boundaries. And so I do have Sagittarius as well as Aquarius, Leo, and Gemini energy that comes out. Let's go ahead and get an Oracle message for you. What do you want Pisces to know about their reading? Grace and gratitude through gratitude, joy expands being, you know, grateful, also handling things with grace and having that gratitude for the things that you currently have and through your gratitude of accepting how life is and, you know, things could be worse, I guess, is how, you know, this is coming out. Seeing that there's good in what you currently have is going to allow joy to expand in your life and you feel better through a very tough situation protected by angels you are cherished by angels so don't ever feel that you're alone because you are definitely being looked over by your guardian angels spirits got you god's got you if that's what you believe in the universe has got you um so just know that you're never alone there is always support even if you can't see it around you if you feel it within you like there's this weird feeling and it feels like there's you know this higher thing that makes me feel like anything is possible trust that you know have that faith so this is what i have for you pisces if it resonates go ahead and hit that like button i will see you in your next reading coming up have a good rest of your day bye